hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in today's video i am in hungary and i thought i'm going to do a vlog so today's i think what's the day today tuesday i arrived on saturday night i stayed at my dad's house they have a pool at their house so we went there and then i was just like my casual idiot self so i've got a little short footage of that most of my family there didn't really want to be on camera so i tried to like cut them out and stuff and <laughs> like as much as I could. So I'm gonna insert a little footage of that here. <laughs> And yeah, and so I was there the whole Sunday and then I got to my mom's house and this is my mom's house and then you probably wonder why it's a random car and milk next to me um, but I will do a haul I think um, so I don't know if you know but about I think it's the don't really know when this video is gonna come out but basically the 22nd of March, I decided to go vegan. Um, I would say plant-based because here and there, like sometimes I find that certain products and stuff is really hard to find things without like milk and stuff. So basically like, um, yeah, so I found this like iced coffee because I thought um, I'm just gonna do a little like haul what I found in Hungary um, to do back vegan and plant-based stuff so this is the only one i think which is probably well it says it's lactose free iced coffee but i don't really know like how they make milk lactose free if it's i don't know if it's from a cow it does have a cow in it um it doesn't say like soy or anything so I, I don't really know how they do that um but yeah so this is the only one i couldn't um find with the almond or soya milk or anything like i know that in the uk you can buy um those um then my sister found me these coconut um alcohol raspberry yogurts which i haven't tried yet but i'm really excited for so i will try those later so she got me two um and then i found um i think it's like um probably like sweet um chili or sweet something like that um hummus um so i will probably give this a go as well i'm quite excited about it i don't know if it focuses on it then i thought found these like potato crackers which i wanted to get like normal crackers like what we have in the uk but i couldn't find it anywhere so i wanted to eat it with my hummus so i think i'm gonna try this it's like sea salt and onion and then i already like started eating this but um uh, there was, was the only cheese uh, we found vegan cheese um uh, to be fair i think it it tastes quite good it's a little bit like got the consistency of butter i would say or like a little bit like creamier than the one we usually have with mark in the uk also found this um i don't even know like bio vital cream um this is like some of these stuff are quite hard to really understand what it is because it's on this what I've met like I think it's from Aldi or Lidl uh, I don't know which country they're from but yeah you know like the language is just so different but it basically has uh, I think pumpkin seed and things like that in it so I'll, I'll probably give that a go maybe on toast or something and then this again I finished so I ate that yesterday so these are like veggie burgers and it's from um, broccoli, lentils, parsley and cauliflower and stuff. It, it was really, really good. I really enjoyed this in the barn. Um, so I would definitely buy this again. Um, if I, yeah, because I'm still staying, to, still, still staying till Saturday. And today is Tuesday, so still got plenty of days. So I've got that. 
I got myself a ginger and lemon tea, which I will drink, I think, after I film this video. I'm like quite excited. I was, oh my god, I can't speak today. I'm quite excited about this, to be fair. Like, I recently started doing this thing when I drink some sort of like herb tea like every night. And sometimes it's like, say this is ginger and lemon, then I have like chamomile and I have all lavender and all sorts of things and it's just like I don't know for some reason it really really relaxes me before I go to bed and it's obviously really good for you because you have all the benefits of the herbal um in it um and then there is this chicken fillets chicken fillets so these are from soya which I will probably try at some point my mom will cook today some sort of potato dish for me so I don't think it will be today, but I will try that. And then, this is quite exciting. Well, it's not really exciting, but it's <laughs> hot dog sausages, vegan hot dog sausages. To be fair, this like Plant Chef brand is, you can find it in the UK as well. And I quite like the brand. So you can get like all sorts of like sausages in there and stuff. And that was this cream that we ate, uh, I think on Monday or, yeah, yesterday morning which was from the plant chef. I think I took a picture, but I obviously chucked out the box. So I will uh, insert a picture of it. It's just so good. It was literally tasted amazing. Like we literally finished the whole box. Uh, my mom liked it as well. She's not a uh, plant-based or vegan or anything. And then the last two things I have is my sister found me these like oat chips. Um, so this one is sea salt and ro rosemary. Um, and then, the other one is hummus flips and this one is sweet chili yeah no it's chili so it is quite excited to have these little snacks and yeah so we went to like a lot of different shops yesterday so we went to Lidl we went to Aldi um I think it was Spar there was another one I don't remember which one so we went for a little like tour around uh, my town to see what's around I'm <laughs> Well, I probably wouldn't hug this tree. like being vegan is not like a massive thing in Hungary yet. and obviously I recently became vegan so this is the first time I've been home when I eat plant-based and everyone's kind of freaking out because I don't know how much you know Hungarians but like Hungarian food is very like meaty and flavorful and stuff so everyone's like oh my god what am I gonna feed you and what you're gonna eat and stuff and they don't realize there's so many things are actually like plant-based <laughs> you know what I mean like there's a lot of dish in Hungary which is isn't necessarily full, full of meat. Yesterday I had um, poppy seed um, pasta. It's so good, like I used to love it. And for some reason there's a lot of countries where you cannot have, or they don't really sell poppy seeds around too much. And I think UK is one of them, or I don't know if I just haven't found it, but I haven't had poppy seed um, pasta for a long time. But it's like quite sweet and it's just, you basically mix poppy seeds, um, I think you grate it, or like not grate it, but blend it in like a blender or something. And then you um, add some sort of sugar to it or honey and then um, mix it with like, um, like normal pasta. And it's just like a really good like sweet kind of dish. <laughs> so I had that yesterday morning.
looks like Hungarian people understand ponds as well, which I never thought they do. <laughs> so the this is literally the first bit in my town's name, which is Vats, and then you go Vats up. <laughs> so funny. Pizza, nézzük, hogy néz ki. Hát ez nem is olyan nagy. Hogy ízzél, ne bírd meg ennek. Lájra hát, hogy ne tudom. Nyilvános. Jó illata van. Thank you. 